hello friends welcome back to a new video today is going to be a makeup organization video we are going to declutter my lip products in today's video as i mentioned in my last like makeup organization video i have way too many lip products that are expired i have already decluttered my lip products a bunch um, and this is all that i have left with so everything that is in these two containers and then i have some lip products in these but i want to really condense it and add all of my excessive lip products in this little drawer so i have it right next to me when i am getting ready so yeah let's just go ahead and see what we are going to get rid of and then reorganize a little bit so i'm going to start off with this first container right here this one has all of my ColourPop lip products and again, as I said, most of these are expired. So let's see. You guys know that Colourpop has my heart. So this is really, really, really not easy for me. I'm just going to grab a few like this one, for example, as you can see, it just looks disgusting and I would never put that on my lips. So unfortunately, I mean, it has to go. This was from like a Disney collection, I think three or four years ago, so. It also smells disgusting so yeah this is for sure expired and honestly i think most of these are at this point this one from zoella for example i did wear it like lastly so maybe i'll keep this one i'm just going to put it in the maybe pile this is an ultra blotted lip i really do love those um this is another lip gloss which is just way too old you see it even has the old applicator so yeah unfortunately that has to go this is jiffy with amanda steel i mean this collection again is probably like six years old so that has to go scenic route is one of my favorite blotted lips but as you can see it is empty so that has to go as well. What is this little one? This is also from the Zoella collab. And honestly, if I have to choose between these two, I think I would prefer this one. So I'm actually going to get rid of the shade at me. This one is an ultra sand lip with Kathleen lights, which again, I don't think, yeah, that has to go. This one I'm going to keep from Zoella. I love the shade. This is the self love club. Honestly, I know it's too old, but it still looks and smells fine so this one i'm going to keep then we have oj there which is an ultra blotted lip it smells fine so this one i'm going to keep vitamin c is also one of my favorite ultra blotted lips there is still a little bit in here not a lot so i'm going to try to use this one up um next up we have an ultra blotted lip in cypress chill which is more recent so that one can stay we have an ultra glossy lip in fresco which also still has the old applicator which says enough so that has to go party wave is again an ultra blotted lip but this one is truly way too old so that has to go what else oh this is swing away an ultra blotted lip again but this one is fairly new so that can stay then we have zuma again an ultra blotted lip i'm going to hold on to this one then we have an ultra matte lip with i love sarai but as you can see yeah it's expired lychee me which is a glossy lip but again doesn't look too good next up we have <laughs> this is from the my little pony collection an ultra matte lip so this is i would have to say five years old such a pretty shade though uh, but with products that go on the lip i do want to be very careful so i would never put this on my lips so this one has to go unfortunately um next up we have an ultra glossy lip with kathleen lights which again i know is over five or six years old an ultra matte lip with amanda steel again in chaps this was such a cool color but again <laughs> i know i'm repeating myself a hundred times but it has to go and then lastly in this one we have an ultra matte lip in the shade times square Ooh, as you can see 
it is separated so yeah has to go so this one is empty now let's move on to the next container in the front right here i have my colourpop lipsticks these two boy and appy are the ones that are the oldest so those i'm going to get rid of these are the first lipsticks that they ever launched so those i'm going to get rid of then we have hey mr dj oh yeah <laughs> that will go as well we have Ariel or Ariel or however you say it. This one I'm going to keep. Then we have Little Leak. Mm, I guess this one can stay. Then we have What's Your Sign, which I think is still good to go. Then we have Third Eye, which I'm keeping as well. I love the formula of these, by the way. Then we have Ferris Nude, which used to be such a gold classic from L'Oreal, but I've had this for honestly, I think 10 years. So that's disgusting and has to go. What else? My Charlotte Tilbury lipstick and pillow talk, of course, I'm going to keep. This Essence Hardcore um, lip balm I tried out in a trying Essence video and I hated it. So it leaves like a white cast on my lips. So I'm going to get rid of it. This is an Alverde like colored lip tint, but I've had this for years. And then here we have a sugar lip treatment which is a fresh one as you can see i have never used it so i'm going to keep it these mac lipsticks are so hard for me honestly i haven't bought mac lipsticks in ages so i know all of these are so expired but they're like iconic shades um but also mac is not cruelty free so i think i'm just going to get rid of all of them so these ones will have to go, except maybe this one, because this is a Viva Glam lipstick, which I just, I think I'm going to keep for the memories. Is that bad? Yeah, that's bad. Because it also has like mold on it. <laughs> yeah, no, it has to go. Then we have these three from Maybelline. Touch of Spice, again, was such a cult classic. Same with Shock in Coral and Nude Lust, but old and also not cruelty free. So those will have to go. Next up, we have an Essence lipstick. This one is pretty new, so that can stay. We have a Pixie lipstick, which is a really great formula. And this one is also pretty new, but I don't really love the color on me, so I'm going to pass that on to someone else. Then we have a few glosses. This one from Rituals, I'm just not a big fan of, so that can go. We have a liquid lip from Tarte, which again, the color is not really something that I would wear often, so I'm going to get rid of that. Um, I have my Essence lip glosses, which I think are still in their range, so I'm going to hold on to these for now. If you want a lip swatch video on these, definitely let me know, but those can stay. Alright, then we have a Essence What The Fake Plumpin Gloss, which is also pretty new. This is old, so that can go. This lip booster, not the biggest fan of, so that can go. This lip gloss from Dose of Colors, honestly, I bought it for the packaging because it is Disney. But, I mean, look at that. You see how disgusting that is? So, that has to go. Same with this gloss. Um, I got this in Thailand, I think, so that's also five years old. Then we have these two like liquid lips from Fenty Beauty and honestly, again, they're five years old, but also I'm not the biggest fan of these. They bleed on the lips. Um, I love the packaging, but I don't even know if they still make these. Um, but yeah, they have to go and also, again, really, really, really separate it. Alright, then I have this Huda Beauty liquid lipstick in the shade YFE. Again, it was such a gold classic, but old as hell, so has to go, but this is a beautiful shade. Then we have this Colourpop Hello Kitty lippy sticks. I kept this for like the memories, and I think honestly I still will hold on to it for that reason. 
I know that's bad. We also have these like minis from Colourpop, which are also from like the Hello Kitty collection. And they don't make these minis anymore, which is the reason I really, really, really want to hold on to these. Because they never make these anymore. So maybe I'm going to just get rid of this one and then keep these smaller ones. Again, I would never put them on my actual lips, but I just cannot seem to get rid of these. And then lastly, I have my Dose of Colors liquid lipsticks, which again, it pains my heart, but these have to go. It's not sanitary to use anymore. This shade Coral Crush is my absolute favorite for like the summertime. It is so beautiful. And I think I might repurchase it at some point, but for now, these have to go. All right, so from those two containers, this is everything that I am getting rid of. And then this is everything that I am keeping. So before moving on to these containers right here, I'm going to add these lip products in the drawer. Alright, so, so far this is what the drawer is looking like. So all of my Colourpop um, lippies are in here, Essence is over here, and then I have all of my like bullet lipsticks over here. Then I have one more container here because I want to add some of the lip products that are in those containers in here. Alright, so here on the top I keep my lip liners which I recently decluttered, so those are good to go. Starting in the lowest drawer. This Too Faced Sweet Peach lip gloss is expired. Same with this lip gloss from By Beauty. These are over five years old. They smell really weird. I really enjoyed them, but unfortunately they have to go. Fenty I'm going to keep. This one from Pixie I'm also going to keep. Um, Jeffree Star Androgyny has to go. Way too old. These two here in the back from the palm are also, uh, I think, six or seven years old. So this one from Jordana as well. It's also like really separated. Um, and then these from Tarts, I have a hard time with. But honestly, if I am honest with myself, except for this one, which I opened more recently, I think all of these are pretty expired let me see i think these came in a set so maybe these are still good to go but i'm not sure salty definitely did not come in a set yeah that's expired so that can go i think all of these came in a set like a holiday set so those ones can stay but then these two are just, again, extremely old. They're even cracking on the bottom. I don't know if you can see that. So those can go. And then all of these KVDs, you already know, these are just way too old. Very cold classics, but maybe I'll keep these two for like the memories. This is Lolita 1 and Lolita 2. So I'm going to hold on to these two minis, but these bigger ones unfortunately have to go. This shade was so pretty. Double there, such a pretty shade. Moving on to the next drawer. This is all of my Too Faced, which is really hard for me, but let's see. We have an Ofra one in the back, which again is expired. And then same with these two from ABH. Pretty shades, but... These were, again, such cult classics. We have Ashton, which was such a pretty shade. And then I have um, Sepia, which was like, oh, everyone wanted this shade. And it's like a straight up gray. But yeah, again, not sanitary to put on my lips. Then when it comes to Too Faced, I think I'm going to keep like these, like gingerbread and holiday themed ones. Um, as well as all of these minis, but I think these two can go. So we have Cool Girl and Holy Chic. So these two I'm going to get rid of. And then these I'm going to hold on to for now. Also right here, I have two more from Too Faced. These are the most recent ones. 
Um, let me see, the pumpkin spice latte one was the one from this year and then the cinnamon bun was the one from last year. So these are still good to go. So I'm going to just add them in here. I want to make these drawers like more aesthetically pleasing with all of my like newer and more aesthetically pleasing makeup which I started doing in here but it is not finished whatsoever but these are new from this year I just reviewed them on my channel um, and then this is also a lip butter which is also new and then I have some wear beauty products and stuff in here so that is staying next drawer I have some ColourPop lip products. These are all like um, lip glosses and what are these called? Lux glosses, so those can stay. This one unfortunately is expired. This is a Lux liquid lip from a Disney designer collection, but that has to go. But aside from that, these are all still good to go. And then right here, I have all of my more recent lip products. So of course, these are staying as well. I have a Rare Beauty, like what is this, a Lip Souffle. This is from the Rudolph collection from last year in the shade Clarisse, which is such a pretty nude shade. So that is staying. I have a Blotted Lip from Colourpop, which I also really love the formula of. And this is in the shade uh, Super Mellow. Then I have this Fenty um, Poutsicle, which is basically like a lip stain which I got a couple of months ago, so that is staying. I have the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lips in the shade Rosé, which I got two months ago in Canada, so that is staying. My um, Too Faced Lip Injection, and then also an Essence Lip Oil, which is also new. So that is all staying, but I think I'm going to add all of these either here in the bottom let me think yeah i'm going to transfer all of these to the bottom drawer so this is everything that we are left with so this is the drawer in my vanity so we have the tart lippies color pop essence and then all of my like bullet lipsticks over here and then these are the drawers on my actual vanity and then these two are empty so i can start adding like pretty looking makeup in there and then all of this is what we are getting rid of which is a lot. I'm very, very, very happy. That means that now I can really start enjoying my makeup collection the way I want to. I really love all the products that are in here. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more organization and the clutter videos, definitely give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below. I love you guys so much and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye guys. Can't shake